It's hard to see, but the sound says it all. An Israeli bulldozer at work in a Palestinian refugee camp, accompanied by the sound of gunfire. Residents said around 25 tanks and several bulldozers entered the Rafah camp in the Gaza Strip overnight. Palestinian gunmen shot at the soldiers and an Apache helicopter fired back, killing a Palestinian. Doctors said three others died in exchanges of fire and seven were wounded in the violence. Come daylight, Palestinians ventured out to view the damage. More houses demolished, piles of earth and debris. The Israeli army said they were searching for tunnels used for smuggling weapons under the Egyptian Gaza border. None were discovered, but four Israeli soldiers were wounded when a bomb went off under a tank. The Rafah camp has been a flashpoint of fighting in the past 30 months. Israel often sends in bulldozers to destroy buildings used as cover by Palestinian gunmen. According to the Red Cross, the Israeli army has demolished nearly 700 houses in refugee camps in the West Bank and Gaza since September 2000, making more than 5,000 Palestinians homeless.